winless game, it will be a double loss. Let's find a ride. Gets to the inside. Seems to recover. Holds on to the rope. Clock is going to stop at 7 and 59, but you got to think they're going to make sure to go back and look at this one. This is one you got to challenge, and I don't know if it's Justin McBride that throws the flag or the official's going to take a look at it, but one way or the other. And if you're McBride right now, it's your last opportunity. You've got to throw the flag. There it is. You've got to just see. I mean, I. I know you've got to throw the flag, but I don't think he's going to get it on this one. But I'll tell you what, this is the efforts that we want to see by Silvano. This is what he's done his entire career and why he's going to go down as one of the greats in the history of the sport. Out of position, gets back to position. This ball was throwing a lot of tricks to him, but the try and the determination from Silvano was what got him as far as he did during this ride. I think he just lost his rope at the end. Watching that right hand with the glove on it to see if it maintains right contact with that rope. He's still touching the rope, though, and that's what the rule says. As long as he still has contact with that rope at the eight seconds before he disqualifies himself or hits the ground, and that is what, yeah. unfortunately, I believe is going to be the cost. <laughs> Great angle right there over the back of the bucket shoots, looking at it from a different perspective there. And again, hats off to our, our camera crew, the guys in the truck giving Alan Jordan, a replay official, all the angles to look at. You know, Matt, if I could down here on the shoots, it's interesting. McBride and Silvano having a laugh between them because McBride recognizes greatness. You're looking at a guy in his mid-30s giving everything he had on that ride. That's the Silvano we like. That's the one Brendan Clark's been talking about. 